In this example, we will solve an assorted mix of questions. In part A, solve the base 3 logarithm of 2x plus 1 minus the base 3 logarithm of x minus 1 equals 1. Condense using the quotient law in reverse. Convert to exponential form using the 7 rule. Cross multiply. Expand. The answer is x equals 4. In part b, condense 3 times log a plus log b. Condense using the product law in reverse. Condense using the power law in reverse. The answer is the logarithm of a b cubed. In part c, solve the root 2 logarithm of x to the power of 4 plus 4 equals 12. Subtract 4 from both sides. Convert to exponential form by applying the 7 rule. Convert the radical to an exponent. Multiply the exponents. Raise each side to the power of 1 over 4 to isolate x. The answer is x equals 2. In part d, condense log of a squared plus 2a plus 1 minus log of a plus 1. Condense using the quotient law in reverse. Factor the numerator. The answer is log of a plus 1. In part e, evaluate negative 1 over 3 times the base 2 logarithm of 64. Evaluate the logarithm. In method 1, evaluate algebraically. In method 2, evaluate with change of base. Rewrite the original expression. Replace the base 2 logarithm of 64 with 6. The answer is negative 2. In part f, solve log of 2 minus x plus log of 2 plus x equals log 3. Condense using the product law in reverse. Multiply the binomials. Simplify. By the equality principle, we get 4 minus x squared equals 3. This gives us 1 equals x squared. Take the square root of each side to get the answer, x equals positive or negative 1. In part g, evaluate 1 over 4 times the base 2 logarithm of 16 plus the base 3 logarithm of root 27.
condense using the power law in reverse. Write the power as a radical. The fourth root of 16 is 2. The base 2 logarithm of 2 equals 1. We need to convert 1 to a base 3 logarithm to continue. The easiest way to do this is to multiply 1 by the base 3 logarithm of 3, a logarithm equivalent to 1. Condense using the product law in reverse. Convert to exponential form using the 7 rule. Twenty seven is three cubed. Write the radical as an exponent. Multiply the powers by adding the exponents. The answer is x equals five over two. In part h, condense 3 times a base 16 logarithm of x plus 1 half. We need to convert 1 half to a base 16 logarithm to continue. The easiest way to do this is to multiply 1 half by the base 16 logarithm of 16, a logarithm equivalent to 1. Condense using the power law in reverse. Sixteen raised to the power of one half equals root sixteen. Root sixteen equals four. Condense using the product law in reverse. The answer is the base sixteen logarithm of four x cubed.